of a next guest is also trying to make the world a better pace, uh, place with cutting edge research. That's right, Ryan. I'm joined here in the studio by Professor Paul Bone, Director of the Advanced Diagnostics and Therapeutics Initiative at Notre Dame and the Arthur J. Smith Professor of Chemical and Biome Biomolecular Engineering here at Dr. Bone. Pretty big title there. Well, I have a lot of hats, that's you for do. sure. You do. You do wear a lot of hats. And tell me a little bit about precision medicine. For those that I am new, don't know much about it, for those at home, Certainly. So precision medicine really addresses the problem of what would happen if you and I, God forbid, should develop the same um, horrible disease. We go and we get a diagnosis and because we have the same disease, perhaps we would be um, pres prescribed the same regimen of treatment. But in fact, you might respond to that regimen of treatment very differently than I would. So precision medicine is really developing the tools that allows doctors and clinicians to treat you and I according to our own biomedical makeup. And this is something getting national attention right now. Congress is actually trying to pass an initiative regarding this. So what is the importance in, in researching this? Well, the thing that uh, Congress and, of course, President Obama in his State of the Union address uh, recognized was the need for genetic level information. But that's really just the beginning of the story. So once we know what your genetic makeup is, we have to understand how your body processes that information. It's a little bit like having the blueprint for a house, but then when your house gets built, you put different furniture in it, you paint the walls differently, etc. And so we're trying to go two steps down the road and understand what that finished product looks like and develop the tools to give us that information. So everybody kind of reacts differently. Absolutely. Under just different situations. And what are we doing here at Notre Dame with this? Well, one of the things that we have uh, world-leading expertise um, with here at Notre Dame is developing the tools and applying the tools for um, looking at the protein content of your cells and how those uh, proteins carry out the chemical reactions that allow your body to function. This is, as I said, this is two steps down the road past uh, the genomic information that most of the rest of the world is concentrating on, but we happen to have uh, one of the world's leading experts uh, in um, single cell proteomics here at the university and we have others uh, who are working on basically just being able to take a single cell uh, from a swab inside of your cheek and to tell a great deal of information about you personally and how you'll react to uh, medications. And this is a newer program here at Notre Dame? It's, uh, it's brand new. We've uh, been thinking about this and, and rolling it out over about the last year. Um, we've begun by uh, starting to talk to clinicians both here in the local area as well as some, some of our national partners in Long Island and Milwaukee, et cetera, to try to understand where is it that Notre Dame can really make a difference. Yes, and taking this beyond the classroom, what does that look like for somebody working in precision medicine? Well, for the students, it's a wonderful opportunity to get um, training at the very cutting edge of what modern science and technology looks like because they're working with the best instruments on the hardest problems. And so for both those undergraduate as well as graduate students, what they come away with is they come away with a sense of not only how do you solve a well-prescribed problem, but how do you develop a, a, a series of inquiries that lets you move well past the boundaries of mankind's knowledge. And it's very, very exciting to be able to do that. And why Notre Dame? You have to ask, why Notre Dame? Well, I think Notre Dame is a place where we can, um, on the one hand, we can address and tackle the most difficult problems there are to um, uh, that, that face us currently, but at the same time, we can do that for, in a context uh, of a university that's rooted in its faith and its Catholic tradition and with a strong sense of social justice. So when we think about what we might be able to do for people eventually, they really um, are motivated by those ideals. All right. Thank you so much, Paul. Professor, Thank so you. nice to meet you, and thanks for sharing your research with us. We appreciate it. Happy Notre Dame Day to you. Thank you very much. All right.